Visual field examination is done to see how wide a person sees. BulbiCam uses eye movement perimetry to measure the visual fields. This test result is based on saccadic reaction time, SRT, which is the time between the onset of the stimulus and eye movement initiation. Delayed SRTs are found to be a good indicator in the diagnosis of many ocular and neurological diseases. We need to fill out at least a patient's spherical correction, pulpillary distance, lens holder size. Lens holder lenses will be calculated automatically. When all required values will be entered and BulbiCam is connected, the red icons will become green check marks. Let's look at how we perform the visual field test in the BulbiCam. Find and click on the visual field test in the list. On the left side, please choose the eyes for testing. Visual field test will start automatically. You test one eye at a time. Typically, this requires 90 seconds per eye. For the patient, this is simple. Instruct the patient to look at the green dot presented on the screen. While looking at the green dot, if a white dot blinks anywhere on the screen, up, down, right, or left, the patient should be instructed to move the eye or eyes and look at the white dot. Once the white dot disappears, the patient should be instructed to move the eyes and look at the previously fixated green dot. The patient should be instructed clearly to fixate on the green dot and move the eyes only when the patient sees the white dot and not to search for it. The test takes 90 seconds per eye and the patient can blink normally throughout the test. The eye tracking technology determines whether the patient has detected the target or not. The clinician can also assess eye traces for each dot. With the use of eye tracking technology, we are able to detect the reaction time for the patient, which is the time taken from when the stimulus is presented until the patient starts to move the eyes towards the target. Slow reaction time is marked orange, above 350 milliseconds, yellow, above 600 milliseconds, or pink pink above 800 milliseconds. Red means unseen and white that data could not be collected. In research, we see an average reaction time of around 300 milliseconds. But in early glaucoma subjects, there are significant delays in the reaction time, around 350 milliseconds. The slow reaction time seems to be a new parameter for early detection of glaucoma also researched and published by Professor Hans van der Steen and Associate Professor Johan Pell in several studies. In the picture, you see the clear pattern of a glaucoma. Some of the eye movements just take a long time to start, orange, yellow, or pink markers. This shows that there is a high likelihood that the subject has glaucoma. From here, the subject should continue with standard ophthalmic methods, like Humphrey, to safely diagnose early-stage glaucoma.